Hey guys, welcome to Dr. Chopper's Chop Shop. Just working in my shed. Um, so I have two Super 73s. The controllers went on both of them. Now, the challenging thing was the throttle. The throttle on the Z1. I, on the white one, I replaced the throttle completely. I'm gonna show you that real quick. But on the Z1, the uh, throttle, I have the, uh, I found the colors for it. And uh, so if you want it to work properly, see? works right i'm going to show you how to do that right so basically this you can carefully pop, uh, pop this off okay if you want and i got a picture here and it shows you the uh, colors so if you notice there's a um a red brown purple white black and green now the brown one goes to the hard wire to the battery the um the red and the green one you can actually tie them two together Okay, but that, that goes to the switch, as you notice, right? Now, the um, the throttle would be the um, purple goes to red on the throttle. Um, white is the signal wire, so whichever one that is. And the black is always ground. As long as you get the, um, the, the ground and the 5-volt plus proper, um, you'll, you'll be fine. You won't blow it up um, in case you have any... any uh, you got to change wires around a little bit just never touch the red and the black ever on any wires because you know you'll you'll do damage so basically i'll put links to the controller uh down in, in my uh, comments so i grabbed a 350 watt 36 volt controller off amazon uh it works centerless um the z1 is a centerless controller anyway so um you don't use these wires right i use a stock connector right here i chopped everything up inside here um this controller has a three-speed switch which works amazing i call it the uh secret turbo switch i just put it underneath here under the seat because i ran out of space on the handlebar see and uh so you get your battery wires um i had to uh, uh take off um uh b plus to power the switch that goes to the uh the wire that i showed you i believe it's the brown wire and then um and then the controller itself has a switch wire and it's went to the red wire and it also went to the uh, green wire for the display on the the throttle to six wire you can literally use five wires if you just tie the red and the uh, green together on the throttle and then um i think i did a clean job um it's got the uh, the brakes here um the e-brakes uh i wired everything in here comes down right up underneath right so i'll put the seat cover on that'll be It'll be cool. I'll do that tomorrow, right? So, uh, so that's that's this one here. Let's check it out real quick. Ready? Um, let's see how it works. Um, you know what? What one is that? Oh, okay. So here is regular, right? So this is regular. You hear it, right? And you hit the turbo button. You hear it ramps up, right? Okay. So there's that. Now on this one here, I'll put a link. Uh, put links in the comments. Um, we actually use the uh, V3 motor. We have one laying around, and um, the controller. It's a 48 volt. Um, what is that? 800 watt, and it might be a thousand watt. I forget. I have to check. Um, oh, I'm sorry. No, it's a this one is a 48 volt, 500 watt controller. I'll put the link in the comments. Um, I just placed in the, the wires. Um, we're not using any hall sensors because these controllers run uh, without halls, which is convenient. And we just ran the wires here, um, up underneath here. All the wires go up to the controls. Um, now the battery, what I did was, since the controller was fried, I, I went inside this here and I just uh, got the uh, stock controller and I, I wired the uh, B plus and uh, the, the red and the black, I wired to the red and the black pins in here. So the stock factory battery works. Okay, it works great. And um, let's see, I used the key switch. You see, this still works, the, the battery, uh, that still works, see? When you turn the battery on there, see? That works key switch works okay and um so this one has a three speed switch as a key it has the um the voltmeter right here these are convenient to use um the uh, e-brakes still work it's not up on the stand so i can't run it for you but um but yeah there you go so you have 
two controllers and it didn't cost a lot of money um if it, okay so one more thing on your self-learning wire when you uh, plug these controllers and you have to have the chain removed and the wheel suspended up in the air because these white wires that come on these aftermarket controllers that are just non-programmable -pro -pro they're actually decent power but um yeah so when you hook it up you want to these white wires are it's called self-learning it engages full throttle so you have to do it with the chain off so the pedals don't spin backwards and hit in shin and um and when you plug them in the wheel's going to spin if it goes in reverse just unplug it wait for the wheel to stop spinning plug it in again and when the wheel starts to spin forward you can just unplug it and and that's it you can hit the brake thing then you can test your throttle and everything works as it should so there you go guys good luck with your repairs and um peace guys happy uh working in your sheds